Uh, hi everyone, it's Alfred. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy, and welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. Just so everyone can see that I did it. And of course I, of course I did it uh, while on the uh, the lock, so I get nothing. But I wow. But yeah, that's a. Uh... Oh, I see. Ooh, now I guess I just explore. Right? So upon my next death, I guess you'll see that I've unlocked a great deal of things. The least of which being these. I've got another ten of these. Never like the dark. Me and my enemies in plain field. Braving these gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my hilt. Never tell what horror lies down each corner. Greatest swordsman, even I am having trouble with the demons. I should be thankful I rushed ahead. Still night, every window stares back the same melancholic moon. But I swear I've been here at least a whole waking day. Must be the adrenaline. Never feel so powerful yet challenged. Exhilarating to charge through these rooms, cutting down enemy after enemy. Some ways the foes of the castle feel tailored to me, training me, guiding me, watching me. It may sound crazy, but if it can sense those within it, a fear may hold malicious intent as well. The assumptions are correct. The design of these halls could be a ploy, calling me into a trap. I must stay alert. No more doubt adventures I passed and come to the following conclusion. Many did take. Many did not take enough provisions. I met too many of them died of hunger. I'm running low off to find more supplies. Many are missing clothes, which explains the pant wearing zombies. Okay. No one has made it as far as I have since I passed I haven't passed a corpse in an hour. Throne door to the throne room is driving you mad. Beyond it lies the king's salvation, my reward, but it stands silent in the middle of the castle floor and contemplate. Really. Tried pushing, kicking, yelling, open sesame, but nothing works. Icons are blazing on the door, each one looks like a beast I avoided deeper in the castle. Perhaps there's a correlation. Emblems on the castle door are a clue. I salute the giant beast that match one of the icons, and I sense something shift behind the throne room doors. As if in a dream, I could see an emblem on the glor and the door glowing in my mind's eye. Truly out of body experience. At least I know I'm on the right track, but if I but I must hasten my pace, for the king may die at any moment. Let me turn my uh, audio up a little bit. I must rest. Tomorrow I'm to the forest. And I'm actually going to stop reading now. Because I, uh, I read a lot. So I've upgraded a great deal of things, but you'll only be able to see when I die, which should be soon, so you know. I feel kind of like a doofus because I uh, only killed the boss while I was. I uh, had the castle on lockdown. But that's okay. I imagine I wouldn't have killed him any other way. Oh boy, this ought to be good. Well, I slipped and was impaled by spikes. Ah, oh, puts the big old eyeball there. That's funny. Alright. So, we've got a great deal of them. I think I've broken a hundred. I unlocked the shinobi, and uh, I have almost no firsts left. I went the third or the fourth or something. So, I now no longer have to pay Charon all my money. I have a lot more attack up. I have a lot more crit and crit damage. Wow, 10% damage to crit, that's great. Uh, I have a little more health. I have a bunch more weight, a little more magic. I don't use a lot of the spells, honestly. Um, I have some more gold upgrades. I unlock the miner. I upgrade the knave into the assassin. I think that's everything. Oh yeah, I got the shinobi. For the blacksmith, I've unlocked uh, many swords. And other things as well. I'm mostly doing a vampirism build. But I had taken it off for the sake of uh, being that boss. Since if I've learned anything from Dark Souls, anything that's based all around um, like health on kill is usually worthless whenever you're actually uh, fighting a boss.
There's nothing else that I can buy. Gracious. Yeah, that's a... Uh... There you go, chair one. So yeah, now I'm starting with 100, which is nice. So we got a big skull guy, probably a big slime monster, and a flame. Man. Oh boy, it's dark. But yeah, my damage has improved greatly. My crit is going crazy. I actually don't like playing as the Shinobi a lot. Their high damage is good, but I put so much money into crit that, like, I should be using all my crit as much as I can. So a class that just allows me from doing that means, uh, that it could be a little better for my... Really, everything is going really well with, uh, everything else. I've uh, got, I think, the Retaliation rune on. Uh, yeah, so it returns damage. So I'm able to hit things that just hit me. And then I get health when I kill them. Which is very convenient. I changed my controls so I... I change my controls so I can just hit down to do the down strike or drop two platforms. Because that DuckTales shit was getting a little on my nerves. Oh, oh I didn't even see you. I keep finding chests and walls and I'm never sure how to get them. Some of them you can actually just drop through the floor, like the wind over the wall. But this is a very Dark Souls game. I know that uh, it's pretty much a kind of sin to just sum it up and be like, it's like Dark Souls, but a lot of the rules are transferable. Or with watching enemy tells, specking your build very, very specifically. I also found that uh, another one of those rooms where they explain one of their past games. I'll take this. Having a projectile is usually better. Found. I can't remember if I learned this last time, but I also found out that this game has mimics in it, which is never a good thing to add. So due to a combination of things, including me getting poisoned and uh, my cat having to go to the vet, this is actually two days after I first recorded it. Usually if I do a two-off like this, I just record them back on like I did with, um, uh, like I did with Faster Than Light. But in this case, uh, I actually took a couple of days to grind, as you can see by my... Oh boy. Yeah, I've been poking my head into the other areas. They're mostly great because they just have a shit in them. They're very, very difficult. I didn't even grab all that guy's money. Let's go for... Let's just go for cash. I don't mind that. This isn't super great because it's random chance to rely on finding potions or meat. Whereas my health on kill is pretty reliable because I just have to kill him. And this will spend more of my money, which means I'll lose less money. I'm really hoping to find a, uh, a 
any more help on a uh, kill guys. Try playing, uh, try playing Paladins actually, and I really don't have, um, I've long tossed back and forth ideas of having a show where I, ow, well, that went poorly. Yeah, sure, I guess, why not? But I really don't like how Paladins has both a, like, almost, how do I put this? It has like a League of Legends style build, and then it also has a card system. And it just strikes me as, like, what do people like games? Let's just put all of those in games. Um, I have something of an offending for the uh, genre of team shooters. I played probably about... 300 hours of Team Fortress 2 across my Steam accounts. Maybe more, actually. And I played something like 800 of Overwatch. However, um, I have no reason to not play Team Fortress 2 again. I just haven't. But I've considered having a show where I just talk about that genre, because I do enjoy that genre as well. Similar to how I just play that genre. Money. Retaliation is really nice. Especially since it usually doesn't matter because I just get it back anyway. I love, I adore, I usually will always really like games with a health on kill or health on uh, attack. Yeah, so the Falcon has that, which I've barely been able to use. Which is really kind of difficult to uh, employ properly. So no, yeah, that's your cool chilled out update. My cat's too stressed to go to the vet. I still love her. Whenever I have something like this, I, I, I always want to get to the point where I can just kill someone by having them hit me. That's always like the peak. With them even swinging is their, is their mistake. Hmm, on the surface. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that I've got a scythe. So I'm pretty sure that you can, in fact, get your Dark Souls shit on and quick step through things. But the timing's very, very, uh... Timing's very, very specific. Yeah, that's the end of that. As someone who plays on PS4, it's uh, kind of weird to use a PS4 controller on the... Oh boy. Well, Botus has killed me a couple of times. He's a really hard enemy because he has multiple uh, movesets, I guess. I don't know if a move would be considered a moveset. Let's get some monies. Um... I was recommended to get um, classes and class up upgrades early on because they, they knew not to fuck around, but honestly, I just really want to get my stuff going. I don't like playing as mages, really. I adore, however, playing as knights, paladins, and uh, rogues, which is why the shinobi is to me, but not really. And then I also do enjoy um, utility classes. 
So I really like the mine. Like my favorite dude in um uh, Enter the Gungeon is the one who gives you sails. I love walking up the ponds. So for whatever reason, I can disappear. And I noticed that I appear to have a like a thing that I like one of those. Oh, because of my because of my attack. I hurt them when they hurt me, and that kills them. Yeah, that's pretty funny, actually. That was so funny. Fault nice. If what I've been uh, told in this game about stacking ruins is correct, then that means that I should just be able to keep stacking vault and just have to kind of air dump, air dumps and dashes, which I like. I love finding chests for them. And or ladies, whatever you want. Guys get off the non-binary cows. That was I got distracted there, excuse me. One more. Gigantism can be pretty dangerous to play with. Oh man. This is a. Uh... What do you got for me? Haste. See, I would love to not have Vault be a rune. I would love to just do that. Because I, oh, so this game is very generous in how it rounds up the stuff you normally have to lose. Like, yeah, I would much rather just be able to do things. Yeah, but fix in the sequel. Which is coming out. Actually, no, because, uh... This is now being retroactively recorded. It should have come out like three days ago. Oh Yeah, the miner's weakness usually really doesn't bother me just because I don't really money too much. Oh. oh boy. The health on kill thing is really useful, except for when you have very low health to begin with. Actually, I'm going to take a little break because I've been recording for a pretty long time. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys after the break. Hi, and I'm back. Between this one and the uh, last one, I actually... This uh, session of that is... Not, the, not even the session, excuse me. Before this uh, recording session... I actually went to go get nachos with my friends. Uh, we have this cool Korean fusion place. So, between now and uh, the last recording session, there's actually been another two or so hours. I also just took a bunch of attempts on my own, mostly because I just like this game. This is an excellent roguelike. Of the more traditional ones, this might be the best one I've played. Not a lot of safe places here. 
I went with someone with uh, color blindness because, um, jeez, one of my only other options was uh, for them to be, for them to have vertigo. And vertigo also sucks to play with, more so than uh, color blindness. I don't think I'll have to worry about it much longer, though. Just kill as many people as I can before I get out. Scrape together some cash monies. I, of course, know where that is. Ooh. Sorry, I'm focusing hardcore on this. Because as you know, this is really hard. Oh yeah, so my... Uh, my damage rune allows me to hurt everything. Even things that really shouldn't be able to be hurt. Or my counterattack rune, rather. Wow, this just leads to the Maya in both ways, huh? Dude without a shirt going by outside, although I guess it is summer for us here. So these guys are just Sniper Joes, right? Like from a Mega Man? Believe me, I would love to hit them with something harder. Wait, hold on. Is that right? Yeah, doing that in midair just kind of only stops your momentum, kind of. Overshot it or undershot it. Let's let's get some money if we can. Yeah, things are getting so expensive for me now that I really can't reliably buy anything unless I have at least like seven hundred. Hey, I'm level fifty nine. I'm not exactly sure what uh, constitutes one of this level. Jeez. Bad start, I must say. Luckily, a bad start isn't so bad now that I can vampire help off my enemies. Actually, it's worth mentioning I swapped out the cape because it gives me a higher crit rate. And, uh, I love critical hits. Jeez. That's funny. When it bounces off the wall angled, it comes back in the... at that angle. It's actually rather clever. I've also somehow made myself hoarse. I'm not sure how. No jumping, huh? Which one was it down? Oh, that's balls. Oh, and I also could have gone this way, huh? Peachy. That one sucked. It wasn't so bad, honestly. Ooh, monies. I love finding the boss door because now that I actually don't have to worry about it, um, it's just free cash. It's going to be a little hairy. Ah, oh, get him out of order. Just get out of here, it's my shame. This is the shame tunnel over here. It's not a four bosses, huh? I 
I guess it should explore areas besides the uh, starting zones. Sometimes those things just burst, and I don't really know why. Trying to get up to him. Let's go with this. All right, I have some monies now. This will waste more of my money. But I wanted more health anyway. I really don't care about magic. Although this is actually one of my favorite spells in the game, such as it is. I mean, really, these things are just the Castlevania sub-weapons, as I mentioned previously. This game is remarkably similar to Symphony of the Night. And, like, dude... If you're, like, a fan of Symphony of the Night, and you're like, I want to make a game like that, no fucking shame, dude. That's a good game to emulate. In style. Sorry, someone's walking by outside my window. In gameplay. Ooh, bar for the clown. Oh, Christ. Oh, this is embarrassing. Anyway, one of my favorite, um, like, game covers of all time is Symphony of the Night. The artist who did it is this, uh, amazing woman named Ayame Kojima, I believe. And she painted it. Like, the cover of Symphony of the Night was painted. Look at an HD picture next time you get the chance. It is another area. This is the Maya. I'm not sure why it's called that. Mimic! Oh, fuck. See, that's why I, uh, usually wouldn't go around in that area. I hate the quantum teleporter. I really can't find a use for it. I can get very far in, huh? Alright, 79 months. Let's build it back up. Oh yeah, I have more of those That's another kind of dark horse thing that this game uh, fires or emulates. I don't think it is. Oh fuck. My microphone stand's falling over. Now, normally, I would cut this out, but my wife finds it funny whenever she hears me rustling around, so I guess I'll leave it in. Changes to like cheap elf or sword and elf. 
wonder if that dude has a bunch of lore or something. Like he's secretly a war criminal or something like that. I'm actually gonna need these. Land of Darkness is one of the harder areas we found. Oops, That's a nightmare, right? Dark Stallion. Right. This is nothing but trouble here. Oh my. <laughs> that was a. Uh... Hmm. Hey, I got monies though. Cool. Wow, I have four health left. Oh, actually. Why don't I go back and chop that up? Land of darkness, yep. This is what you came here for. Should be nice and easy now that everything's cleared out, right? Actually, I didn't even go this way. See, everything seems to be randomly generated to an extent that I don't know if I've even seen. Like in a in a prior to this. None of this uh, type of exactly. Usually a roguelike has to be like, it'll be this many until you get to this one. Usually you have some sort of, for a specific jumps of area like that, usually you have a little more in the way of area. This is a very good game. One of the best roadblocks, in fact. Where did this... Last time I went to the bottom of one of those games, it was a death pit. This probably leads to an entirely different area. Sure does. The Maya. Jesus Christ. Like it if um wow. You know, I got my money, I can get it. I don't know how these open. My guess is like that one colored tile there is something to do with it, but I really don't know what In my head. It was in my head. Ooh, a lot of enemies. All right. I guess I'll take an ugly color palette over one that I can't play with. Nostalgic guys, remember when the video games looked like this? CP Tone video games? Alright. Let's build the monies back up. Yeah, I've probably spent like. I feel like way more time than the game expects me to spend here. Like, not to talk about Dark Souls again. Jeez, if I love Dark Souls so much, I should LP it. I will later. I don't want to 
do so many big LPs, and Dark Souls is pretty involved. More so even than, like, a... I was going to give an example, and I was going to say, like, Morrowind, but uh, Morrowind is actually one of the more involved ones. All right. Journal entry number 11. Force is unlike anything I've ever seen. Serene and terrifying, I stand on lush grass, but beside me yawns an open ca yawns open a chasm so wide and deep, it begins to swallow me whole. I love yawning as a way to describe caves. Uh, I still not heard a response from the rock I tossed in earlier. A single misstep and my descent could be eternal. It's a horrifying thought. An eternity of darkness is more frightening than any beast I've thought any beast I've fought thus far. If I fell, what would kill me first, the hunger or myself? That's grim. I'm now using the forest fissure as my personal lavatory. I wonder if I'm pooping into another dimension. Found a solution to my hunger problem. Forest holds an endless bounty of delicious mushrooms. And within these mushrooms lie chicken legs. Also gold coins and vialing of and vials of sparkling water. Broke open a tree trunk and a bag of money fell out. I feel like I've gone insane. It's not the moon, it's huge. That might just be a symphony of the night thing. So the beast of the forest, and I felt the throne room weaken once more. My assumption had proved correct. Each wing of the castle house its own guardian houses its own guardian's beast. Was this designed as a test of will? If so, I can't fail. For the further I venture, the more bold I become. Tomorrow I scour the tower. I'm on a roll. Oops. Methodically clearing the demons in this room to my quest to slay the next guardian, but I'm losing track of time and other things. As I entered the tower, I felt time stand still. Or perhaps it's the vertigo talking. I was never keen on heights, or was I? Finding it difficult to remember my past. I remember being a famous adventurer. My martial power surpassed all my brothers. That I'm sure. While they spent their days burying my book of studies, I was out killing brigands and monsters. I wondered why my father favored them over me. Isn't it the opposite in fairy tales? Fortune favors the bold, not the insipid intellectual or something like that. I would love to see uh, my brothers try to outthink my sword in their face. Well, let's read the last one. What if years have passed since I first entered these walls? It's true that I'm becoming more proficient in clearing monsters, but it feels like an age has passed. I've even forgotten what my own kin look like. What if they have failed? What if one of my brothers has beaten me to the cure? What if I mistook them for a monster? Intriguing, truly. I love survival horror notes, and I know that this isn't a survival horror game. Oh boy, one of these. I know that this is not a survival horror game. Fucking really? But it certainly, that kind of note feels like it. If you watch one of my other series, is uh, Asher. Asher is absolutely just based off of Resident Evil notes. I feel no shame in quantifying that. I like them, and so I draw from them. Oh yeah, I've got a Chakram, don't I? It's like one of the best spells in the game. Oh, get fucked, dude. Go away, painting. Man, that's a sentence. Just please go away, Mr. Painting. Ah. I wonder who it could be. That's new. Have they ever done that before? Curse rune. It's the curse rune, isn't it? Is that the counterattack rune I have? Oh, another fairy rune. Oh, it's one of these. I hate these. I never have the thing to deal with them. And I don't think that will. Floral in the darkness. Oh boy. You're getting dangerous in here. Oh, come on, really? That's just unreasonable. Of course, the rage got the credit. That's a lot of enemies, though. 
I realize now how sepia tone can actually make a very, very significant difference. I don't like any of these. I'll go with this one. Not being able to see my health bar isn't too, too bad. Plus, with all my crit chances, I should crit any second now. Any second now. I guess some kid's skateboarding outside. See, a pain insensitivity just makes it so you can't see your health bar and, you know, like you can't feel your pain. Back in grade school, there was this, uh... We were having a fucking dare thing. And I'm sure that, uh... Oh, for non-Americans, dare is, um... A program in a lot of American elementary and middle schools. Not so much high schools. Where they try to teach kids not to take drugs. Um... It's extremely counterintuitive because they're like, this is a permanent marker, just like you could buy in any store. You could even find them in your own home. These get you high. And it's, uh, yeah, it can be very counterproductive because a lot of kids have legitimately, like, said, yeah, I didn't know what drugs to take until I took a dare class and they explained what type of drugs do what to me. Apparently you can even, like, increase rates of it. But anyway, we were learning about bath salts. And this um, stupid idiot kid, man, that dude just wiped out on the skateboard outside. This dumb idiot kid was like, man, they make it so you can't feel pain? Why doesn't everyone take them? After the teacher recovered, or the uh, dare... Resource officer, I think they're called. They were like, because they make you kind of erratic, and you know, a lot of people can hurt one another on bath salts. And then he was like, well, why don't we just give them to the army? And he somehow, through the entire uh, day, didn't manage to grasp the difference between damage and pain, because obviously, just because getting shot doesn't hurt doesn't mean you didn't get shot. That's... Oh, boy. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, I, I saw that coming. I couldn't get out. Spike traps. Check for a pulse. How nice of them. Oh, let's go with this. It's pretty solid. Now, I have some good cash. How much is the... Oh, I can get another rune, and that would probably be the best for it. Curse rune. Harder enemies, greater rewards. Ooh. Balance rune. Bounty. I kind of want balance more. I'll be getting less money. But I have a couple of other upgrades to help give me money. So I think I'll survive. Oh, that sucks. I'll change it back if I hate it. But hey, it means that I can use my spells with more regularity. I love this. I love trickshotting it, like, in front of you so it flies out behind you. But yeah, the perk that I have now, um, my character has eidetic memory. What that does for them is it makes it so they... The health is so small that I'm actually recovering as much as I would with a normal chicken leg. Every kill. So the eidetic memory just marks uh, enemy locations on my map. It can be convenient. It also move. Uh, it also keeps track of moving hazards. I always wish that like, like it doesn't give you mana back if you catch it. Like I always wished that it would give you like a chunk of it back. I'm of the opinion about that of the uh, combat cross as well. Oh. 
and another one. Let's be going insane. I stumbled across a carnival in the castle, complete with a sad clown and everything. He's sort of an ass, but you can't be picking with your friends in a place like this. Getting hungry again. Good thing I topped up on chicken legs. Found these in a chandelier. Castle. I wonder if it's all a big joke. You know, if you want to make shit look fancy, just put in a chandelier. I love these because it's like, do what you must. I've already won. Uh-oh. I don't really care that I got shot, though. Because... I was actually able to already grab the monies. Alright, this is going to be my last attempt for this segment, and then I'll come back with another one. Oh god, I only got that many monies? That sucks. That's complete balls. Somehow, losing 80% of my money makes me feel worse than losing all of it. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's having to build from almost nothing being more disheartening than having to build from nothing. Christ. I'm getting my balls rocked in here. Hey, chicken leg. Okay, I love these rooms. I'm feeling my lack of money rune. Can't say that I'm not. Oh, nice. What? Oh my god. Because I have dementia. Yeah, right there. I see things that aren't there because of my dementia. <laughs> oh god, that... That's dangerous. That's really dangerous. <laughs> A dangerous game mechanic. People that have dementia can still live full happy lives. They'll feel bad just because society says you got a scary mental illness. I've got a couple of those. Oh, you're real. Oh, you aren't. Oh, it... It looks like it interacts with my eidetic memory, actually. this horse, huh? Nothing scarier than a horse with got no skin. Oh, yeah, that's much effective. Muchos effectivos. Oh, much better. Get out of order on the way out. The retaliation rune, that's nice. It'll mean it means that I can stack things. Yeah, get him. I wonder if this game will ever allow me to set my own traits. That would be very interesting. The, uh, there's a Game of Thrones RPG, and it's real shit. And to be frank, it's actually just a really crappy Dragon Age 1. And Dragon Age 1 isn't great to begin with. The story's amazing. Game, uh, gameplay's a little, uh, dated. Nice. And, like, I love Dragon Age 1. Oh, wow. I've, uh, I've never been here before.
Why don't I just continue around? Oop. Those are also Mega Man enemies, I think. Ranger chest, nice. So the Ranger stuff is a really nice alternative for um, whenever I need to prioritize not killing things, like fighting a boss. Whoops. Mr. Bones. Oh yeah, I learned today that um, I found one of those um, like special rooms that are like, here's one of the other games that this company worked on before they did this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. But yeah, I, I, I ran into one of those other rooms and I was like, here's one of these. Wow, that's a lot. And as it happens, uh, these people actually worked on don't shit your pants, which is uh, legitimately one of my favorite flash games. <laughs> uh, it's very stupid. It's a game where you just try to not shit your pants. Uh, let's see here. If I grab that, I might have enough to grab. Uh, hmm. Think, think, think. More damage. I'm gonna go fight a boss, so I may as well take it. And then... Yeah, I need to have more health. And the ranger limbs are an upgrade, more or less, from the night stuff. So expensive, though. Alright, let's lock that down. I really like the way that the uh, characters look. I kind of, no joke, wish that um, smaller, like, cuter characters was an option, but that's only because I'm a needlessly sentimental fool. Let's see who's even in here. Wow. That can't be good, huh? Big Skull, the Forgotten Alexander. So is Alexander like his species or is he a forgotten? Oh, he summons rages. Or possibly furious. Being a hypochondriac in this fight is not a great thing to be. Though this fight actually may be a little easier than um, the big eyeball. And oddly enough, this actually means that I'll be able to use my um, health on kill things because he's, he's always summoning more health. Fuck. Well, saw that coming. Okay, let's see if I can get a a miner. Yeah, let's go with that. And let's see if I can swap any of these out. Retaliation rune and curse rune. Yeah, let's go with balance. Also, this is an amazing spell to have. What else do I have? Axe and knife. Alright. Now I've got Alzheimer's. So that means I can't use... Okay, so I can use this map. That's good. That's cool. I know I said that I was going to have that be the last one, but I'm going to do a few more attempts on this boss. The Forgotten Lex. Oh, geez, that was like many of my health. I'm 
trying to I'm trying to focus in hardcore on this. So excuse my lack of talking. I mean, you don't have to. You can just click on the video. This is almost like cheesy. For those who don't know, cheesing a boss is a, a cheap and easy way to kill it. Which is a, a reliable thing that's um, considered a little dishonest to do. Uh, I get, to talk about Dark Souls again, it's a really good example. Um, there's this one specific thing that you can do to the boss, Great Great Wolf Sif. Just thinking about Dark Souls, got my ass whooped. Where uh, you can sit outside Sif's arena after she spawns and then shoot a bunch of little arrows at her. Uh, Sif is also not immune to poison. Which means that you can... Oop. Okay. Now I don't think I'll be able to take much more than a few hits. Oh, fuck. I couldn't. Alright. I'm gonna take a little break, practice with the boss some more, see if I can get something going. Uh, I'll see you guys whenever I feel a little bit more confident. Hey, and I'm back. And this is one of my best attempts. So because of my um, high MP, I'm able to cast that spell over and over and over again. And it's amazing. It also is able to help me kill the little guys. You know, now that I started talking, I fucked it up. Should've kept my fucking mouth shut. That's fine. Let's try the axe again then. Barbarian's very useful to fight this with because I can't rely on the spells. But if it's a spell like the one that I was using, the, the, the Cascade one, it's very, very powerful. So you only need to cast it a few times, but having it on so many times is why I was able to do so. Honestly, that spell might be considered a game breaker. If not a hashtag game changer. Am I? Nope. That's such a big thing that like they hit me sometimes more than I think they should. Wow, that was fucking fast. I put on more vampire runes as you can see. Uh, to hopefully reliably, that was pretty good. To hopefully uh, be able to rely a little bit more on my regeneration, because you know that's a fun thing to do, especially in a boss fight. Because normally you don't get to do it. Like um, there's a few disparate times in say Dark Souls three where uh, or two where you have a boss fight against a a, a whole church. This happens more than once in the Soul series, actually. It happens like three times, I think. Where your boss fights an entire church. And in instances like that, your ability to... kill a bunch of regular enemies, or even like sub-regular enemies, is really, really determinant of your success in that fight. Oh boy. See, having things that attack on a diagonal is really nice. Because, obviously I need to hit him on a diagonal because he attacks in a cross. As to all of his little lackeys. I'm assuming it's a he. Skeletons don't typically have like a real gender. They have the gender of their like human body when they were alive, but that's really just their biological sex. However, considering the name is Alexander, I feel pretty confident. Sorry to offend you, skeleton god I'm fighting. That was a pretty pro use of the chakra. Oh boy. Chakram is a pretty cool weapon, I guess. Oh, I'm out of Gojuice, huh? That's... Oh, boy. Christ. Getting a lot of pile up here. 
fuck him up. Fuck. I just ran into that. Yeah, the, the balls are so huge that, like, I really don't feel like I can dodge them as well as I can. Um... That's pretty good. Maybe I can crit my way through this fight. I'm gonna take another, like, couple of attempts, and then I'm gonna call the episode here. Um... Man to the second boss. That's uh, I feel like that's further than I usually would make it. It'll mean that this episode's much easier to edit. Let me do it. Let's warp on over. I would love to be able to poison him too. I really like uh, Darkest Dungeon's poison system. I should record Darkest Dungeon. I should save that too. Jumped into it. You won't catch me, skeleton. There's a man flying back there. Look at that, that's a full on man. Help me. Man, if there was a game that would love cooperation, it would be this. I'm gonna go until this recording segment hits 10 minutes. Which means that all these enemies, uh, all these um, episodes are gonna be pretty long. Let's go with the Conflux. Just on the premise of it. And another reminder that this game is available on Steam through the summer sale. I'm not being paid to say this, by the way. I just really love this game, and I hope that these co this company goes well. Because, you know, I'm a fan. Uh, but I got this game on Steam summer sale. You can, too. And this game also uh, has a sequel coming out in just a few days. Maybe I should try to use my shield a little more, I guess. It might help me. Beautiful. Find me, bitch. See, it's it's so weird and interesting to like have it to avoid your own projectiles just so you can hopefully hit more enemies. Because as mentioned, I get nothing for that. It'd be cool if, like, I got a little MP back. It's like, hey, I picked up my combat cross. Shouldn't I get the MP I spent on that back? But, you know. And Emma kojima san says no. By the way, if it isn't, like, telling, the fact that I know Ayame Kojima's name and that I don't confuse her with Hideo Kojima, the other person named Kojima in the Japanese video game development team, should speak to her talent. People think that she ruined Castlevania. I think that those people should shut the fuck up. All that she did was just put more fishies in. Gameplay's still good. The people that ruined Castlevania are not high enough to do it. Fuck. I was running alongside it. That was a pretty good attempt, though. Okay. Let's try this. I haven't really tried mist form a lot. Shit, I just waste all my critical luck. Wouldn't happen to have anything that boosts critical. Do actually. I really want to just have a crit fisher build. In this game, at least. Usually having just reliable straight-up damage is the best way to go in every game. But if the game is, you know, a certain type, then having a high crit chance or crit damage is really good. That's what I'll spend this boss money on. So 
Why is he named Alexander? Like, if you ask me to think of like an Alexander, I'll think of the great. I offer no opinions on to whether or not he was great. But that was what they wanted him. That was what he wanted to be called, so I'll respect that. Heal me with your bone dust. Long time viewers of the channel will know that I love bone dust. I'm gonna have to retroactively put that as a joke in Minecraft now. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Walked into it. Okay. I'm gonna take, uh, assuming that this is a good roll. Let's swap out my crit stuff because I don't think I'm going to be able to crit very well since I just lost my uh, assassin classing. Axe it is. Getting more mana on the kill should allow me to cast that a lot though, so. Alright. I might even come back and do a third episode of this, but we probably at least a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. I've been considering doing a couple episodes of Friday Night Night Legs where I just uh, did a rematch against games that I, I felt like really deserved it. Oh my god, that was so miserable. Okay, one more. One more and that's the last one assuming that it's real. Alright, that's pretty good. The uh, shout should hopefully help me mitigate some damage. It was why I was able to actually defeat um, uh, Keter the Eyeball. Because uh, the shout was able to just knock projectiles away from me, and it just, it's a screen clear. Like a, like a, like a shmup would have. It's very, very nice. So hopefully, it'll help me out here. What's Santa? Why is he? What the fuck is Santa doing here? Sorry, Alexander. All right. Doing good. So far, at least. Keep whittling around at Alexander son. I love I love when projectiles are uh, at a similar pace to the player for moments like that. Getting boxed in here. This is fucking awful. Okay. Not bad, I think. Oh, man. The extra health the Barbarian has is really what's helping me out here. I feel it, isn't it? Uh-oh. It's not the one anymore. Oh, it's not the one. <laughs> Fuck. That was... That was an embarrassing death. I just landed on him. Alright. So... That's my trip, uh, uh, diptych, rather, of Rogue Legacy. 
by Salvador Games. Absolutely outstanding game. This this is legitimately one of the best roguelikes I've ever played. Um, and uh, the second one came out. For you guys, well, for me, it's coming out. But for you guys, it's been out. Uh, I hope it's good. I, I really do enjoy this company. Um, as I mentioned, I like Rogue Legacy, and uh, Don't Shit Your Pants is legitimately one of my favorite Flash games of all time. So, here's hoping that the next one's good. But, until we find out, I've been Alfred. This has been Rogue Legacy, and you've been watching Friday Night Roguelikes.